Hello and welcome to the Features in 5 integration series. My name is Adef Kribi and I am a senior solution architect at JAMA Software. Today we'll be looking at the Git repositories integration using an example of a repository in GitLab. We make it possible for you to integrate JAMA Connect with preferred best of breed software to achieve live traceability across the end-to-end -end development cycle. Live requirements traceability is the ability for any engineer at any time to see the most up-to-date and complete upstream and downstream information for any requirement, no matter the stage of systems development or how many siloed tools and teams it spans. This enables significant productivity and quality improvements, dramatically reduces the risk of product delays, cost overruns, defects, rework, and recalls, and ultimately results in faster time to market. JAMA Connect being the central space repository for holistic overview across the traceability chain, will be able to store the source code change track published by the integration hub from the source code repository management tools, such as GitHub or GitLab. This allows software developers to work in their environments without adding additional steps to ensure traceability. The integration hub will take care of publishing the source code commit information to JAMA Connect as soon as they are available in the Git repository. Additionally, software developers can provide traceability information in their source code commits, which will allow JAMA Connect to create the trace links to other items, making sure that source code change sets are embedded into the traceability chain. By providing this seamless integration, JAMA Connect will ensure a better accessibility beyond tool boundaries to source code traceability for the stakeholders who are not necessarily familiar with Git repositories. This holistic traceability enables better efficiency in conducting impact analysis and controlling the change management process, as well as facilitating reporting and tracking of metrics across tools to assess and achieve compliance with less effort. Here is a simple flow between GitLab and JAMA Connect. I will start by adding a simple implementation task to my JAMA project. This is the input for the software developer to start working on the implementation. Now, this is just an example. We can here use any other item type based on the process defined and configured within JAMA Connect. Going to my implementation issues set, and here I will start by creating a new task. And then I will just save and close, and this will create a new implementation task inside of my JAMA Connect project. I will take the ID provided by JAMA Connect as an information that I will use later for the traceability. Now in GitLab, I will make some changes to my source code and will make sure to mention the implementation task ID in my source code commit. I am of course just using the UI of GitLab here to edit the file, but this would be the same process if I am working on a different um, environment on a development machine and submitting the changes sets from my um, own local repository. We're just keeping things simple for the time being. So going to my file, and then I'm gonna to go to edit the file as a single file, just here adding some changes. And I will make sure to mention in the commit message, the message for the change, and then I will just put the ID as I got it from JAMA Connect. And now I will just comment the changes and we will see what will happen inside of JAMA Connect. The integration will take care of the rest and we will go back to JAMA and see how the source code change commit was published and how the traceability will be defined inside of JAMA. Within a few seconds, based on the integration configured, we can refresh our project inside of JAMA and see how the source code change set will be published to the spot in the project tree that we defined in the integration hub. We will just refresh, and now we will see that we now have one item representing our change commit with the name that was provided. So if we look closer here, we'll be able to see that we have that same commit message. If we look at the traceability on the right-hand side of the screen in our relationships widget, we will be able to see that there is one upstream link to the task implementation task that we used in the comment. So as software developers, we don't need to redundantly create any items inside of JAMA Connect or create any links after we submitted our traceability. If I go also to the task that is inside of JAMA Connect and um, look at the traceability chain, refresh, we'll be able to see also here 
that source code traceability that is um, managed. So we have bidirectional traceability already inside of Chama, which will now allow us to have and embed our code, our change sets, traceability source code to the traceability chain of our project. Thank you for watching this feature in five session on the Git repositories integration for Jama Connect. If you are an existing customer and want to learn more, please reach out to your customer success manager or consultant. If you are not yet a client, please visit our website at jamasoftware.com to learn more about the platform and how we can help optimize your development processes.